so hello everyone in this video we'll be working on some borders in tailwind css so let's understand these border classes so first of all we'll be learning about border radius so border radius is for rounding out the corners of uh, the element we can see that uh, some classes are already given to you rounded none is for border radius 0 pixel and similarly rounded sm is for border radius 0.125 rem similarly it goes to the other ones and if you add a rounded t which means border top radius uh, and 3xl means uh, 3 times uh, to the 1 rem like this one so this one 3 times to this and top means border top left radius this one border top right radius this one so it is for both of the direction left uh, top left and for the top right similarly it goes for the b as well as for the right and you can explore it about so this is actually uh, the border radius class we use rounded here so let's make this image a little bit rounder or the div of this div uh, this image let's make it rounder so i can add a rounded excel here so to make it rounded from all corners so if i do that you can see here it is and if i increase that to 2 excel then that will also be increased similarly we have a rounded full which makes it all uh, radius like all rounded but right now it is uh, looking like a pill because the height in which should be similar then it will be completely rounded so this is actually rounded full and similarly we can do for the other directions as well for example t full so it will be top left and top right so you can see that it is just like now uh, it is half circle similarly we can write b full so it will be for bottom left and bottom right you can see that so you can explore it about like these border radius classes and let's move towards the border width so it is for setting the border actually so you can set the border whatever you like so if you add border 0 it means border width is 0 if you want to remove a border then you will be using this class border 2 means you are setting border of 2 pixel similarly it is 4 8 and if you don't specify the length then it will take one pixel by default and this is for left and right and similarly it goes for the uh, sizing increased so x is for left and right borders and y is for top and bottom borders similarly there are many classes you can use so le let me just add some border actually it is already added so let's increase that or decrease that so i shown you how you can add that and i also shown you how you can actually add the colors and borders so that will also be watching now you can see that uh, the border width is now decreased similarly you can uh, style only one direction of the border for example if you want uh, only the left border so you can write left l here so only the l left side directions border will be there if you want both in left and right so you can write x here that will be for the x direction or x axis so it will be for both if you don't want so you can remove that and it will be applied to all the sides similarly it will be for top for you have to write t and for bottom you have to write b and for both of them you will write y and then you can specify the size in this also we can specify our own arbitrary values just like others so we can also set border in our uh, pixels for example 20 pixel i want so i can add a 20 pixel in square brackets so that will also add a 20 pixel border here you can see that this is the arbitrary value we can set so let's remove it for now and we can set it to 8 that will be good so this is how you can set the width uh, 
and similarly we have the border color we can change the border color I already applied that in the last video so you might have that idea so it is very easy you just uh, use this color styling like whatever the color you want uh, you have to specify that after the border for example you want red then you have to specify this red and then uh, the scale what you want so if you want the darker red then you will increase this and if you want a lighter red then you will decrease this so just like we did in the background and text color this is similar to that so this is actually how you set the border color you can also see that in here it is similar to the background color so this is what we do in this similarly there is border style this is for styling the borders like if you want the different borders like dotted borders so how you can do that you just need to specify the border dotted here border dotted then that dotted border will be applied here similarly there are many border styles you can apply so it will apply the dotted borders and there is a dashed border solid border solid is the default border and double hidden none there are different styles you can apply so this is for border style and similarly we can specify the outline width and outline color you can see that outline width and uh, border is kind of similar you can also s apply that so outline and border are kind of similar but outline comes outside the borders so you can also apply border and outline at the same time if you want so for example if i want outline as well so i can specify outline here and it goes like the other ones like uh, like the border ones uh, I have to specify the 8 here so if I see that so that is actually not visible so let me just grab that idea so it is actually uh, 8 so it will be 8 pixel in the width so we can set the border here or the outline and then we can specify the outline offset as well outline offset is nothing but the difference or the gap between uh, the actual border and the outline so border dotted let me just remove this and let me just specify the uh, outline color as well and if i specify outline uh, let's say green 400 that should be implemented Uh, I think it's not visible. Let's specify the outline offset as well. Outline offset. So this is for outline and the border gap. Uh, I think some margin should be there, otherwise, it will not be visible. So I think it is the problem in uh, setting the outline. So you can remove the border and then check that check that out if you want. So let me just remove the border. Uh, maybe the classes are not working. Okay. And then you can specify offset of two, let's say. So I think it has problem in this. So maybe the rendering issue is there. So we can leave this out but you can add it and check in their website as well that uh, this is how it looks so this is how we add borders and outlines so similarly you can explore all the other properties which are there i don't think they will be needed but you can explore them for more knowledge so this is it for this video i hope you understood something uh, and we'll be meeting in the next video let's thank you for watching